like to welcome you to Glenmont and actually more specifically Llewellyn Park. Believe it or not, Llewellyn Park was actually the very first private gay community in all the United States. It was originally built in the year 1850 and initially only had about 37 residents. Now Llewellyn Park actually expands. There's over 200 residents here in Llewellyn Park. Um, this particular home that we're about to tour was built in the year 1880. It was not built for Thomas Edison. It was actually built for a man whose name was Henry Petter. That's P-E-D-D-A-R. And there's sort of uh, an interesting little story behind it. Well, Henry Petter actually worked in New York City. and He worked in the clerical division of a department store known as Arnold Constables. Um, Arnold Constables can sort of be compared to a Saks Fifth Avenue of today. Basically an upscale department store. So he's working as an accountant in the clerical division for about 17 years. And in 1880, he purchases 14 acres of land here in the exclusive uh, residence of Lowell Park, puts up this 16,000 square foot Queen Anne Victorian style mansion, holds 29 rooms, fully furnishes the entire estate, costing him just over $300,000. Now to equate that to today's dollars, um, kind of rough, but we like to say anywhere between the eight to ten million dollar bar. So, Mr. Petter is living here comfortably, as you can probably imagine, for about three years. And in 1883, his company does a little inside investigation. Uh, it turns out, in fact, he, along with three other of his fellow employee, employees, are in fact embezzling money through their company. This was sort of the red flag of the whole situation, if you will. So. Things worked a bit differently back then, as you can probably imagine, and the company approaches Mr. Petter with its lawyers, and they give him two options. They say, well, have option B, or excuse me, option A, which is run a full-fledged investigation, call the authorities, and you know, once we find out the magnitude of what you've been doing, you'll probably go to prison for quite some time. Or they said, Mr. Petter, you can choose option B, and that option is to actually sell us back the entire 16,000 square foot estate plus all 14 acres of land for a single dollar. Well, Mr. Petter, being the bright man that he was, chose option B. And he sells the entire estate fully furnished plus all 14 acres of land back to his company, Arnold Constables, for a single dollar. He then literally fled to never be heard from again. Some rumors have it that he went off to the West Indies with the clothes on his back and a suitcase full of some cash. So the company then turns the house over to a mortgage bank company and the house gets put on the market. And it's on the market for about three years until a young woman by the name of Mina Edison comes across the home. Um, Mina Edison is 20 years old and she's the newly engaged wife of Thomas Edison, the great American inventor. She comes across the home and she immediately falls in love with the estate. Thomas Edison at this point is already a, million, a millionaire and has already come up with inventions such as the stock ticker, the electric pen, the tinfoil photograph, as well as his incandescent lighting system. So he purchases the estate for his wife sort of as an engagement gift. Um, he purchases the entire estate fully furnished, mind you, for $125,000. So he got a very good bargain on the home. It actually made it a great place for him to start his new family, being that he was in the transitioning process at the time from his Menlo Park laboratory to a new, more advanced, upscale laboratory. Um, he had uh, backers, uh, financial backers such as J.P. Morgan backing him as well. And West Orange actually made it an optimum place, being that we're only about 10 minutes away from Newark, and believe it or not, we're only 12 miles away from Manhattan. So Edison really had all of his resources right here in the West Orange area. Now. What think? First impressions. Yeah. <laughs> wow, huh? Sort of get that wow feeling as you walk through the main entrance of the mansion here. And that's really the impression that Mr. Petter wanted to give to his guests as they were walking through the front doors of his house. Um, he wanted to give his guests a perception he was this very wealthy, successful businessman when in actuality he really turned out to be more of a crook. Um, <laughs> All the wood that you see is all oak, mahogany, and cherry. The wallpaper that you see in this room is pretty unique. This is what's known as lincrusta. And lincrusta is actually a molten based oil canvas that's actually been embossed. Um, it's actually unique also being that a majority of the rest of the house is actually um, painted floor to ceiling. So this is one of the rare rooms that actually does have wallpaper. Now, the first room I want to bring everyone into is the Petter Library here. Step on in. 